In order to make early diagnosis of ectopic pregnancy, high clinical suspicion is required. A urine pregnancy test would suggest the presence of the pregnancy. Pregnancy associated with severe abdominal pain diagnosed as ectopic pregnancy should be established at the earliest to prevent complications. A blood test of quantitative measurement of HCG would measure the levels of hormone human chorionic gonadotropin HCG, which is produced by the placenta. HCG appears in the blood and urine as early as 10 days after conception, and its levels double every two days for the first 10 weeks of pregnancy. If HCG levels are lower than expected for your stage of pregnancy, doctors are one step closer to diagnosing ectopic pregnancy. The doctor will do a pelvic examination to locate the areas causing pain, to check for an enlarged pregnant uterus, or to find any masses in your abdomen. Further, an ultrasound examination may show whether the uterus contains a developing fetus or if masses are present elsewhere in the abdominal area. The ultrasound, however, may not be able to detect every ectopic pregnancy. A less commonly performed test, a kuldosynthesis, may be used to look for internal bleeding. In this test, a needle is inserted into the space at the very top of the vagina, behind the uterus and in front of the rectum. Any blood or fluid found there likely comes from a ruptured ectopic pregnancy. Even with the best equipment, it is hard to see a pregnancy less than six weeks along. If your doctor can't diagnose ectopic pregnancy, he or she may ask you to return every two days to measure your HCG levels. If these levels don't rise as quickly as they should, the doctor will continue to monitor you carefully until six weeks, when an ultrasound can be used.